Today's session is going to start with a poll, and then I'll start. Hello and welcome. Welcome, everyone. Uh, and I'm really, really grateful that you're here to uh, today's session on uh, video for teacher-student connections. So uh, you've got a poll out there. People will be coming in as we go. I'm recording this uh, through Camtasia, so uh, pay attention to the uh, tutorials okay, that I've added, plus the link to the course in the chat box. Oh, is it really midnight? All right, so you're very brave. I hope you can fall asleep afterwards and that you're not too, uh, too much awake. All right, so I see that we've got 100% yes. Okay, so we're going to continue this as people come in and they'll have a chance to uh, take the poll. All right, so let's get started. Um, I hope you can see and access the two um, links that I've added. One is for the uh, presentation that's it going to be uh, presented, and the other one is to the link to the course. Uh, this is actually uh, a course that was created especially for teachers from Paraguay in a school called uh, Style de Raffaelli. Okay, so this is actually for them, and that's why it's being recorded. Raffaelli, Raffanelli, sorry, Raffanelli de Ortiz. Okay, that's the name English. That's the name of the school. I was there in the summer and um, they asked me to present at this time. That's why it's so late for you, Ramesh, and I apologize. Um, and I see that we've got Uncle Sam who just, yes I do. I'm recording through uh, Camtasia because I'm in a Mac, but for your information you can also record and we'll be talking about this. You can be recording um, actually through, if you're using a Mac, for free. You don't need to buy Camtasia, which can be uh, quite expensive. So um, you can record through QuickTime. Okay, that's another way that this can be done. All right, so let's get started. Hello, Helena, I see you made it. Or is very good. I thought you weren't going to make it. All right, so I'm glad you're here and um, that it's not too late. As I said, this uh, session was created especially for teachers at uh, the Paraguay School. They may be coming late because uh, they teach on Fridays, and this uh, it's actually 2.30. Between 2.30 and 4 o'clock, they have a break, and that's uh, one of the reasons the sessions were set up for them. All right, so... Um, Let's get started. So videos for teacher-student connections is one reason, and that's one value in um, creating videos, okay? Because we do want to connect uh, with our students, and students want to connect with their teachers. So it's really, really important that there is that connection, even though we do know that it's very, very important for students to connect with each other and uh, that they enjoy and in most cases may be learning more from their peers than from the teacher. But in any case, there's that sense of wanting to hear from the expert whom they think is the teacher. All right, so uh, we're going to be focusing on the following teacher, student, and content and support. The teacher normally presents the content in such a way that uh, it's transmitted to the student, the student picks it up, asks questions, and requires support. This support also informs the teacher of uh, where to go and how to continue providing content in such a way that would cater to the student. So this is a cycle. Okay, where it starts, I'm not sure. It could start with a student who decides to uh, go to content and find a teacher that will provide him or her with uh, the information. 
All right, the reasons for videos. There are lots of reasons why uh, students would want to watch a video. And it doesn't matter whether it's a fully online class or whether it's a blended or face-to-face uh, -face with videos and not necessarily blended. One is for instruction. Okay, the teacher may want to provide instruction. And in addition, there may be problems, and the students may want to share their problems to get support with the teacher through videos. So that's one way, okay, for instruction to demonstrate, and from the student's point of view, uh, to create videos so that the student can explain what they mean. And this is for clear communication. You know, I don't know if you've had this experience, but I've had it on and on and on again, um, not only uh, in my face-to-face -face courses, but also in my fully online courses, where students ask for help. I don't really know what they're talking about, and the only way I can understand what they mean is if they provide me with a screenshot Sometimes the image is enough, and sometimes I really need them to go through um, screen sharing through voice so that I can see the movement and I can see what's going on in order to support them. So getting support from students through videos really clarifies a lot of things. Instead of going back and forth and asking questions, what do you mean, what do you mean, they can actually screen share and... Uh, provide a video for easy understanding of what they mean. Uh, some of the screenshots, free screenshots that I use, uh, you can share what you use, is Jing. Jing is completely free. Uh, they don't want us to use it. They like us to use uh, something else that costs, I think, $19. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but... Um, it was supposed to replace Jing. It's called Snagit. And I think if I'm not mistaken, Snagit costs uh, $19 a year. I don't like it. I prefer Jing. It stays on your desktop and it's a great way to uh, get the image, to cut up the image, whatever you see on your screen. You can um, get a screenshot and uh, copy it and paste it on a PowerPoint presentation or get the, uh, the link or save it on your system and use it that way. So it's a great way to uh, get the image so that students can, and you can write on it, so that students can explain what they mean. And let me just show you how it works. Okay, I'm going to screen share and show you what I mean. For those of you who may not know, let me just get rid of... Okay, there I got rid of my video. Okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to go to... Um, Okay, my Jing, which is on my computer, I'm going to uh, get a screenshot of this. Now, what I want to show you is that I can capture an image. I click on capture an image, and then I have arrows that I can use. I can change the color. I just love this. You can get different colors for everything. I can also box things in different colors. So let's take, uh, uh, let's see, uh, this is a pretty color. I can get a combination and I can simply box things. Students love this because it allows them to really explain what they mean through images. I can also write, let me get a color for a text. I can write, um, is this correct? Okay, that's just a question. But you can add text. 
Um, you can also highlight different things. So let me highlight free here. Okay, there we go. Jink is free. Okay, and then I can either copy it, as I said, and add it to my PowerPoint slides, or I can save it. I can also create a uh, video, a five-minute video, completely free. So let's call this uh, Jink, not Ning, Jink. Okay, I'll add it to Downloads. Okay, and now I'll stop the screen sharing. I don't know if you saw very much. Okay, let me stop the screen sharing. Okay, I'm not sure whether you saw that, but you will be able to see it on YouTube. Okay, and let me add the file that I just created just now. Okay, so I'm going to pull it up from my system so I can share it with you. Upload from my desktop. There it is. Jing. Okay, it'll take a couple of seconds. And it should be up. There we are. Okay, so I can make it larger, as large as I want. There it is. Okay, can everybody see that? Uh, just let me know in the chat if you can see that. And I'll get rid of the poll. Okay, I see that everybody's created videos. Great. Okay, so there it is. Um, there's no time on it, so if you didn't see me create it, you might think, well, did she create it now or not? But I did. Okay, you'll see it later on. But I did create it. And as you can see, there are a lot of features here. For example, I can add text. I can put a box in different colors. I can use pointers. I can highlight and as I said, I can also create a short video, a five-minute video, which is really excellent. All this for free. Of course, if you want to record, and we'll talk about that later, longer segments, uh, Jing does not work. Okay. Any questions so far? Just feel free to um, add them to the chat. <laughs> okay, I don't see any questions. All right, great. All right, so let's go back to uh, creating videos. Now, if you notice, uh, this is exactly the same for the Mac, okay, as well as for Windows. So it's free for both, and I highly recommend it. Next, and since we're talking about video recordings, it's called Screencast. I don't like it. Uh, it's called Screener, sorry. I don't like Screener. And the reason I don't like Screener is if you go pro, I don't know if this is a good reason not to like a product, but if you go pro, it costs a lot of money. And I don't like that. Okay, I think that it's not fair to um, overcharge. And that's one of the ways that I decide whether I'm going to use a program or not. If the GoPro is so expensive that it's ridiculous, I just don't use it. Okay, so that's, um, you can try it, Screener, it's completely free. The next one that I like, and that is reasonable, the Pro is something like $10, $30 for three years, or $15 a year, which I think is quite reasonable, is Screencast Video Recordings. You don't have to have the Pro. Even the free one allows you to to upload your videos to YouTube, Vimeo, and so on. Okay, the Pro Tools provide more, but it's not that expensive. And Screencast is available both for uh, the Mac and for the uh, Windows. The only thing is that it has a feature only for Windows, and that is you can record Wiz IQ. You don't need Camtasia, which costs over $100 for a PC and $100 for a Mac. If you want Pro, and I think it's, as I said, $15 or $10 a year, depending on you, Screencast-O-Matic for Windows will record up to three hours. So you can record Wiz IQ classes using Screen cast o -matic. Okay, so I would take advantage of that. I use Mac, so 
doesn't work for me. They said that in the future they will also have this uh, feature for Macs, but right now it's only available for Windows. Um, look at the free features for f 15 minutes and for the Pro there's no time limit. I said 180 but I think it's a lot more. Uh, you can get free hosting up to 15 minutes. You can record screen and webcam which means that your camera you can publish to YouTube in HD format for free and you can also publish to MP4, AV, FLV, movie for free. You cannot publish on Google Drive, Vimeo, and so on. You cannot publish screenshots unless you pay GoPro. No watermark when publishing and password protected uploads and no editing tools unless you go pro as it says here $15 a year or 10 for three years. Next is TipCam. I know the Ramesh uses TipCam. TipCam is awesome. It's free. They also have a Pro, which I think is also uh, pretty cheap. It's free to download. I think it's unlimited. You can um, use it only <laughs> for Windows. You cannot use the TipCam on a Mac. So that's when I stopped using TipCam, when I started using Apple. But it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. And hello, Fatima. Good to see you. Easy to use. And again, it's free. So that's TipCam. Next is, and this is completely free on a Mac, but it's not free on Windows. And you can't even do it on Windows. It, I don't know why Windows doesn't have these features, only the Mac. And that's QuickTime Player. With QuickTime Player, and by the way, I created all the screenshots on the PowerPoint presentations using Jink. Even though I have Snagit, I paid for the Snagit. I paid, I think, $19. I don't like it. I prefer the free because it's, it's a lot better. All right, so as you can see, with QuickTime Player on a Macintosh, on Apple, you can record new movies, and this is screencasting. You can also record audio separately, and you can record your screen. Okay, and this is how it works, and it's really great. So if you've got a Mac and you want a free, you don't want to use Camtasia and pay $100, then you can use QuickTime for free. I didn't know about this. If I had known about it, I would never have bought Camtasia. And by the way, I have Camtasia on my PC and I hardly use it. Okay, what are you going to do with the videos once you uh, create them? Well, you can upload them as files from your computer to YouTube, even with the Screencast-O-Matic. You can save them on your system and then upload them to YouTube. Now, I don't know about your accounts on YouTube, but you can have a up to unlimited time on YouTube if you keep uploading videos. So I think I have unlimited. I can uh, upload uh, videos up to, I think, three, four hours as much as I want. They start up, I think, with 15 minutes, and then it goes up to 20, and then an hour, and then uh, at some point they just give you unlimited uh, time as far as uploading videos. So that's really great. Next, I see that people are coming in. As I said, their uh, classes are ending. Next is Vimeo. I don't know if you're familiar with Vimeo. It's very clean. It's very nice. Um... But that's all. Not everybody's using it. Uh, you do have to pay to get the Pro. It's also an expense. I think it's up to maybe $20, maybe $50. But um, I don't know if it's worth it. Since YouTube is free, why pay for Vimeo? And the reason that I pay for Vimeo is because a lot of countries do not um, allow YouTube or Google, any Google uh, products. So... Um, Google, uh, YouTube may not be uh, available in China and different parts of the world. 
so that's why I would uh, also use Vimeo. In addition, some countries, I believe India, I believe, well, and recently, I think that a, at least a year ago, uh, I was told that you couldn't see Vimeo. It didn't appear in India for some reason. So I use Blip TV, okay, because Blip TV is available everywhere. I don't like Blip TV that much. I have no idea why. I had the Pro for a couple of years and then I stopped it. So Blip TV is another option. Now, Quiz IQ. If you want to um, screen share and uh, create a video of your recordings or of the live classes of Wiz IQ, you've got two choices. On a Mac, you can use QuickTime for free. Or if you want to pay, Camtasia costs about $100 on a Mac. I would not do it, even though I did it. I would not do it. It's just too expensive and not worth it. It's not that great. In addition, you can also use Screencast-O-Matic because Screencast-O-Matic, again, if you take the Pro, it's about $19, it's about uh, $10, $15, and for a PC, but you can't use it on a Mac. Next, you can also use TipCam, but only on Windows. So TipCam and Screencast-O-Matic are only available on Windows. So I'm going to stop for a second, see that some people have come in. Um, any questions? Good to see you. I'm still waiting for my friends from anybody from Paraguay. Oh, if you don't have a Mac, Kalina, then that's great because uh, there are a lot of programs that are free or very inexpensive. TipCam is, is free and you can use it to record your WizIQ live classes. That's great. So you can all use Screencast-O-Matic or TipCam. Okay, so you're actually very lucky. Are there any questions? Yes, question, Helena. Not yet. All right. Ah, uh, good question. Uh, maybe Ramesh can answer that. Active presenter. Uh, can you add the link to that, oh, Ramesh? Maybe we can take a look at it. Uh, Ramesh was using TipCan. I know Ramesh. Um, do you find Active Presenter better? Knives, I would go with a Screencast-O-Matic because you can also draw. You can use the drawing tools to make arrows. I think, I don't know if you were here at the beginning where I showed how you can make um, arrows. So Active Presenter. You need to download. Is it completely free? Is it free? I don't see. Um, Ramesh, is it free? Ah, there is a free edition. There is the standard. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at it. Am I screen sharing? No, I'm not. Okay, let's take a look at it and see. We can screen share together and see how it works. All right, so let's see what it has. Does it have writing tools? I'm going to screen share. Let me know if you see the screen sharing. Okay, it hasn't started yet. Who's video? Oh, I turned my video off. Yes. You see a screen share? I'm not sure whether it's working because it says it needs that it's connecting. 
if it's connecting it's not using it all right so let's take a look at it and see what you think all right I'm gonna go to it and you'll see this uh, on YouTube all right so it's got the standard and the standard it seems to be very nice you can record PowerPoints and well when you record a screen it looks really nice for a PC I don't know about Macs let's see if it works on a Mac uh, probably not but that's what you need because we've got a free one for a Mac anyways All right, let me try to download and then I'll see if it has a Mac or not. It doesn't say whether it has a Mac or not. Oh, it does, it does, it has a Mac. Excellent. Okay, so it has a Mac as well. I think. I'm still not sure. I don't like this kind of downloading because I never know. They have so many different things. You never know what you're getting. You could be downloading so many different things. Fix this, fix lots of advertising. And if you click on the wrong thing, uh, you may find yourself with a virus. So be careful when you're downloading these things because you don't really know what you're downloading. Um, be very careful. Yeah, it's only for, it does not support a, uh, it support operating system Windows, but not for Mac. So it doesn't support a Mac. That's what I thought. Okay, so it's not for Mac users. Bye, Helena. Did, are you going? Oh my gosh, you better go to bed. Yes, definitely. All right, but anyways, I'm almost finished. It's a very short presentation. So uh, this is actually the end of the presentation. I was hoping uh, to get some um, students or teachers from uh, Paraguay, but since they're not here, um, that's the last slide. What's great about videos is that they provide us with active learning tasks. You can give your students different active uh, learning tasks, and I'll tell you what yours is. Okay, so your task is to create a video, whether you're using a Mac or a PC, and create a video of your bio using screencasts. So you can create, not screencasts automatic, but using screencasts. Okay, that's the task of the week. Create a video of your bio. All right. Are there any questions? Okay, let me know in the chat if there are any questions. No. All right, so you've got the task for the week. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have another session on... Um, oh, you missed the first part? Well, uh, first of all, uh, Knives, you'll have to join the... Uh, let me get that for you. The PowerPoint presentation is available, and here, if you want to see what I, let me get my video webcam back up. There I am. Okay, so uh, what you need are two things, and let me get that from the chat. It's at the top, very, very top. First of all, the PowerPoint presentation, and everything is clickable, so click on the images that I created with Jing and you'll be able to uh, get the links 
And next is the course, okay? So you're all invited to the course if you haven't joined already. The course uh, is called Teaching with Technology. It's very basic things, but the um, the big part is the support and asking questions. So if you have a question, create a video so that you can clarify what you mean. And that's what it's all about. It's about creating videos for support and effective communication. So uh, let me get that for you. There it is. Okay. So there's the link uh, to the course if you haven't joined yet. All right. So any questions? By the way, the link to the recording is the same, sorry, the link to the session, the live session, is the same link that you get for the recording. Okay, so that's really a bonus. You don't have to download anything, you just click on the link. And if you're using uh, Windows, it's even easier. So thank you very much, and good night for those of you that it's really late at night. And for those of you that it's afternoon, good afternoon. I don't think there's anyone here that's uh, here in the morning. All right. So thank you very much, everybody. And I'm looking forward to seeing your videos. So create a bio in the form of a video and upload it to YouTube and share the link in the course feed of the course. Okay, so that's the assignment for the week. Thank you, everyone. Bye for now.